Welcome to Dazzle. We all know that accurate data are crucial to useful reports in Dazzle. We're going to look at three reasons you can trust the data in Dazzle and what you can do if you find data that look incorrect when you run a report. Reason number one, NAIS has cleaned the historical data. In the past three years, we have completed an intensive cleaning of the historical data in Dazzle, many of which came from the old Stats Online system. Here are the results of that cleaning. NA, from 2005-2006 to 2015-2016, we filled in 28.4 million blank fields out of 68.5 million total fields. Over 700 rules detect errors. Over 65,000 incorrect calculations fixed. Reason number two. Each year we scrub the new data that schools enter during the data entry window. The scrubbing for 2018-19 data resulted in over 2,500 potential data issues resolved and more than 24,000 blank data points filled in. Over 3,500 questionable data points removed from reporting until they can be resolved with the schools. The scrubbing for 2019-20 data resulted in over 10,000 potential data issues resolved, more than 94,000 blank data points filled in, and over 1,500 questionable data points removed from reporting until they can be resolved with the schools. Reason number three. A new tool in Dazzle will let you report a number that looks inaccurate and will temporarily remove that number from circulation so that you can move forward with reporting while we move forward with fixing the mistaken value with the school that entered it. It just takes a few clicks. Let's take a look at how it works. We'll start by creating a report so that you can see this new tool in action. First, we'll go to Create Report. We'll follow the steps to create a benchmarking report, starting with our comparison group or groups. We'll select the NAIS test group for this report. Oh, by the way, you can create your own comparison groups by clicking here. There's a help sheet about how to do this located in the Dazzle help menu. Okay, back to creating our report. Click on the variable Chevron to move to the next step in reporting. Select a variable by either clicking on Add Variables or click into this space. To narrow down your list of options, check this box next to All Categories, Key Variables. Let's look at the number of students who received financial aid, including need-based, merit, and other awards. To expand the list in a section, click on the caret next to the section header. We'll stick with the default year. We'll leave the default setting for our report. To use the tool for reporting inaccurate numbers, make sure to check the box next to Enable Temporary Data Exclusions. We could either click on Reports, or this Next button will take us to view the report. Next to the Max value or Min value, notice the new icons. It is usually in the Min or Max value that you will see a number that looks inaccurate. To exclude the inaccurate number from your report, click on the icon to the right of the number itself. You'll see this pop-up, and if you think it is a data point that NAIS should investigate, just check the box next to Notify NAIS. Then click Temporarily Exclude to remove the number from your report. The system will remove the number from your report and bring in the next number in line from the values entered by the schools in your comparison group. Using this tool, you can continue with running your report without having to wait for the value to be fixed. You can easily view what was excluded here and clear the filter or even exclude more data in the same report as many times as needed. You're in control. After you've checked Notify NAIS, an email will be sent to our team and we will investigate the data point that caused the issue. We will review the data reports and if the value is incorrect, we'll exclude these data from being used in any calculations or reports and alert the school that they have data that are excluded and need to be checked. The school can then come into Dazzle to update school data and review the data points from their record that have been temporarily excluded from showing in reports. Just imagine, we could get to 100% fewer alerts and no excluded data. The data quality will be even better with all of us working together.